The Lives of Saints On the 26th of February, our church celebrates the Feast of St. Porfirios. The following are some thoughts on his life and works. Born in Thessaloniki, into a family of means, his was an uneventful life until, at the age of 25, he emerged as a man pledged to serve Jesus Christ. To this end, he made his way to the Holy Land, where he became a monk. He had been in Jerusalem for about 10 years when his health began to fail rapidly, whereupon he painstakingly set out for Calvary. Along the route, a monk named Mark, who had assumed a vigil at the base of the hill, offered to assist the agonized Porfirios, who insisted on continuing on his own. This same monk, who had looked upon the weak traveller with compassion, very soon thereafter saw a robust Porfirios as he approached after having been healed by the power of the Lord. Mark joined his fellow monk in giving thanks to the Almighty. The two monks entered a monastery for the ascetic life when word came that Porfirios had inherited a considerable estate. His reaction was to send back word to the authorities in Thessaloniki that the holdings be disposed of and that all proceeds be given to the poor. He gave it no more thought and resumed his austere life. It was not until he was 40 years old that Porfirios was ordained a priest by Patriarch Barilos of Jerusalem, who had observed the monk's quiet service to Christ and had admired him for his humility and reticence. The newly appointed priest fairly leaped into prominence, emerging into public view after years of isolation to dazzle his Christian listeners with his message of all-consuming love of the Saviour. No one was more surprised than he when, with no advance notice, he was appointed by Archbishop John of Caesarea to serve as Bishop of Gaza. The reputation of Porfirios preceded him to Gaza, a city in whose midst were numbers of pagans and atheists. Undaunted, the new bishop, with his friend Mark, ignored the jeers and taunts which greeted them and proceeded to the Christian sector without serious incident. He had been in Gaza for a few weeks and, in all that time, by coincidence, there had been a total lack of rainfall. While periods of drought were nothing new to this area, this latest prolonged dry spell became serious and the atheistic malcontents, making note that the rains had failed to come since the arrival of the Christian bishop, attempted to make him the scapegoat, blaming him for their parched land. Porfirios walked out of the city to the cries of derision of the pagans, who locked the gates behind him, determined to bar him re-entry. The bishop walked into the chapel of St. Timothy, where he prayed for divine assistance. As dawn approached, clouds formed overhead and a steady downpour ensued. The bishop then returned to a grateful Christian flock. Bishop Porfirios died on the 26th of February, 420 AD.